two area system and uncontrolled case okay so the static response so response of two area system in uncontrolled case uncontrolled case means there is no controlled in a case so static response first static response so the change are, the changes are deviations which results in the frequency and tie line power under steady state conditions following sudden step changes in the loads in the two areas are determined so let delta pd1 and delta pd2 be sudden step changes in the loads of control area 1 and area 2 simultaneously and delta pg 1 and delta pg2 are the incremental changes in a generator version in area 1 and area 2 as a result of the load changes so delta f is a static change in a frequency this will be same for both areas for um, delta p tie 1 and uh, static change in the tie line power transmitted from area 1 and area 2 so since the only static changes are being determined so the incremental change in the generation can be determined by static loop gains so we have delta pg1 equal to minus delta f by r1 we are considering as equation 1 and delta pg2 equal to minus of delta f by r2 for static changes so delta pg2 equal to minus of delta f by r2 equation 2 for two areas the dynamics are described as by delta pg1 minus delta pd1 equal to 2 h1 by f0 d by dt of delta f1 plus b1 into delta f1 plus delta p pi1 and delta pg2 minus delta pd2 equal to 2 h2 by f0 d by dt of delta f2 plus b2 delta f2 into delta p pi2 so this will consider as equation number 4 so for two areas dynamics are described so under steady state condition we have d by dt of delta f equal to 0 so after substituting equation 1 2 and uh, 1 2 in 5 so the equation 3 and 4 we get uh, the minus of delta f by r1 minus delta pd1 equal to b1 into delta f plus delta p pi 1 and minus of delta f by r2 equal to minus delta pd2 equal to p2 into delta f minus of a12 into delta p delta delta p pi 1 pi 1 this is a considered as equation number 7 so delta p delta p tl2 equal to minus a12 delta p tl1 and delta f1 equal to delta f2 equal to delta f so from equation 6 delta delta p pi equal to minus of 1 by r1 plus b1 into delta f minus of delta p d1 so this is considered as equation number 8 so substituting equation 8 in equation 7 we get minus of delta f by r2 minus delta p d2 equal to b2 delta f minus a12 into minus of 1 by r1 plus b1 into delta f minus delta p d1 so minus of delta f by r R2 minus B2 of delta F equal to del delta PD2 plus A12 into 1 by R1 plus B1 into delta F plus A12 into delta PD1 minus of 1 by R2 plus B2 into delta F minus A12 into 1 by R1 plus B1 into delta F equal to delta PD2 plus A12 into delta PD1 so minus of 1 by R2 plus B2 b2 plus a12 into 1 by r1 plus b1 into delta f equal to pd2 plus a12 into delta pd1 so delta f equal to delta pd1 plus a12 into delta pd2 by b2 plus r2 plus a12 into b1 plus 1 by r so here uh, this is equation number so 9 so from this above equation we get delta f so that will be considered as equation number 9 so substituting equation 9 in equation 8 we get delta p pi equal to minus of 1 by r1 plus b1 into delta pd1 plus a12 into delta pd2 equal by b2 plus 1 by r2 plus a12 into b1 plus 1 by r1 to minus of delta pd1 so by simplifying this uh, we get b1 
plus 1 by R1 into delta. So multiplied this uh, in uh, in this uh, numerator, we get uh, B1 plus 1 by R1 into delta PD2 minus of B2 plus 1 by R2 delta PD1 by B2 by 1. B2 plus 1 by R2 plus A12 into B1 plus 1 by R1. It is, will be considered as equation number 10. So equation 9 and equation 10 are modified. Tie line frequency delta F equal to delta PD1 plus A12 into delta PD2 by beta2 plus A12 into beta1. Here tie line power. So this is tie line frequency and tie line power. Delta PF equal to beta1 delta PD2 minus beta2 delta PD1. 1 by beta 2 plus a 1 2 into beta 1. Here beta 1 equal to b 1 plus 1 by r 1. Beta 1 2 equal to b 2 plus 1 by r 2. So from equation 11 and 12 gives the values of static changes in a frequency and tile and power respectively. So as a result sudden change in the load changes here two areas can be observed that the frequency and tile and power deviation do not reduce to zero in the uncontrolled case okay so consider two identical areas b1 equal to b2 equal to b and beta1 equal to beta2 equal to beta r1 equal to r2 equal to r and a12 equal to plus one so hence from equation 11 and 12 we have delta f equal to delta pd2 plus delta pd1 by two beta hedges and uh, power delta P pi per unit equal to delta PD2 minus delta PD1 by 2 equal to minus of delta pi 2 per unit megawatt. Okay, so delta P pi 1 equal to minus of delta P pi 2 per unit megawatt. So this will be considered in equation number 4. So if a sudden load changes occurs only in area 2 such that delta PD2 equal to 0, then we have delta f equal to delta pd2 by 2 beta h and delta p delta p pi p delta p tl1 equal to delta pd2 by 2 per unit so by the interconnected of two area system delta f will be half likewise if you connect n number of systems then we have delta f equal to delta f by n so dynamic response of two area system Okay, so the dynamic response of two area system, the area system of seventh order differential equation is required. Okay, so however, some important characteristics can be brought out by an analysis rendered simple by the following assumptions. The power system of two identical control areas is considered for the analysis. First one, uh, tau tau gt equal to tau t equal to 0 for both areas. So the damping constant of two areas are neglected so that b1 equal to b2 equal to 0. So in dynamic response, these analysis will be taken. So by virtue of second assumption, the power balance equation becomes delta pg1 minus delta pd1 equal to 2h1 by f0 of d by dt of delta f1 plus delta pi1 here delta tl1. And here delta PG1 minus delta PD2 equal to 2H2 by F0 into D by DT of delta F2 plus delta, delta PTL2. This is considered as equation number 2. So taking Laplace transform on both sides of equation 1 and equation 2. And by rearrangement we get delta F1 of S equal to F0 by 2H1 of S into delta PG1 of S minus delta PD1 of S minus of delta P into TL1 of S. This will be equation number 3. And delta F2 of S equal to F0 by 2 H1, H2 of S, delta PG2 of S, and delta PD, PD2 of S minus delta PTL1 of S. This is equation number 4. So from steady state analysis, delta PG1 of S equal to minus of delta F1 of S by R, delta PG2 of S equal to minus of delta F2 of S by R. So delta PTL1 of S equal to 2H by 2, 2 pi into T12 of 0 by S into delta F1 of S minus delta F2 of S. Here delta 
delta p t l two of s equal to minus of delta p t l one of s. So here a one two equal to minus of p one by p two equal to minus. Of, since the two control areas are identical. So by solving the above equation, we get delta p t l two of s equal to my delta p d two of s minus delta p d one of s by s square plus f naught by two r h of s plus two two pi f naught t one two by h into pi f naught t one two by h. So from the above equation, the following observation can be made. So the denominator in the form of uh, S square two a s plus omega square equal to s plus a whole square plus uh, omega two minus a two. Here alpha equal to f naught by four r h and omega equal to two pi root of two pi f naught uh, t one two by h. Okay. So although the above exp uh, the above approximate analysis has been confirmed stability, it has been found through the more accurate analysis. Uh, That with a certain parameter combination of your system behaves. So this is a dynamic response waveforms. Delta f of t will be drawn with respect to time. The dynamic response waveforms will be like this. So at starting it will be clumsy, and after whenever we are giving a stability, then it will be the waveforms will be. Yeah, stable stable at uh, at la, at at one point. Okay, so and next tie line bias control. So in tie line bias control, the speed changer uh, command signal will be obtained from the black diagram. Delta P C one equal to minus K I one in minus K Y n integral integration of delta P T L one plus B one into delta F one D T. So delta mm, P C two equal to minus um, K I two in integration of uh, delta P T L two plus B two into delta F two into D T. So this is equation two. So the first terms on the right hand side equation one and two constitute are known as tie line bias control. It is uh, observed that for decreasing in both frequency and tie line power, so the speed changer position decreases and hence the power generation should be decreased. Such that if the ACE is negative, then the two, um, then the area should be increase uh, its uh, generation. Next, steady state response. Let the step changes in your load uh, delta P D one and delta P D two. The output signal of all integration blocks will be become constant. In this case, the speed changer command signal delta P C one and delta P C two have reached constant value. Here, delta P T L one. Uh, T L one S S plus B one into delta F one S S equal to zero. Here, um, delta P T L two of uh, S S plus B two into delta F two of S S equal to zero. So, and input integration black uh, minus two pi T one two by S is delta F one minus delta F two equal to zero. So, equations are simultaneously satisfied only for delta P T L one. Into S S uh, equal to delta P T L two into S S equal to zero and delta F one of S equal to delta F two of S equal to zero. Thus, under steady state condition, change in tile and power and change in the frequency of each area will becomes zero. To achieve this, A C E in the feedback loops of each area are integrated. Okay. So uh, the response the response of the uncontrolled case we, we will discuss it so that's it thank you